ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you this video for a reason. I'm not even going to play the few. I'm not even going to play it all. I'm just going to play uh, the first couple of minutes because I couldn't stomach the video. But um, it's from that little, uh, excuse the expression, tramp in the video right there. The Pamela Anderson reject. Uh, Barbie reject. All right, let's proceed. By the way, uh, pardon the expression. I'm sorry. It was a little full of righteous anger because I'm standing up for some brothers and sisters in Christ that are actually overweight. One second. I'm trying to get rid of this ad. You got my Kesha hair today. You don't know if this is hairspray or semen. Dear fat people. Ah, some people are already really bad at this video. What are you going to do, fat people? What are you going to do? Wait, what are you, you going to chase me? Really? You're going to chase me? It's going to be like fucking Frankenstein. I can get away from you by walking at a reasonable pace. Frankenstein? Not so fast. Zombies have apparently gotten faster. I watched like three episodes of The Walking Dead and not being slow myself in the brain, realized that every single episode is exactly the same. Oh no, they need something. But it's all the way over there. Where the zombies are? Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's a race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no. That means you're too fat. You should stop eating. Everybody just needs to make more sense. There's a race card. There's a disability card. There's even a gay card. Because gay people are discriminated against. Wrongfully so. The gay card's covered in glitter. It's fucking magical. Are you gonna tell the doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have fucking heart disease? So I said, I'm not talking about people who have a little bit of cushion for the pushing. And if there's people watching this with a specific health condition, this is not aimed at you. I'm talking about the 35% of North Americans who are obese. That means you are so fat, you are affecting your own health. Big bone isn't a thing. How stupid do I look? All right, I'm going to stop there, okay? I never told you about my journey in losing weight. The heaviest I've ever been was uh, 200 and... I, mean, I don't want this mouth to distract you. 228 pounds, okay? And I go to the gym a lot. I work out. You know, it's a requirement of the Holy Spirit that you take care of yourself. You take care of the temple. You eat right, Okay, so I go to the gym a lot. I work out and I literally drop down to about 165 pounds. So you figure from 228 to where I'm at, I'm five foot five. Okay, I'm not big bone, but in my family, we are what is called a medium frame body. Now she said, oh, there's no such thing as big bone. Now I'm going to open up a separate search engine here and I'm going to I'm going to pull up here human body frames so you could understand where I'm coming from. Because if you have a person that's petite and they're 5 foot 4, right? Um my doctor explained this to me. Uh, he said that individual um who's 5 foot 4 and let's say they're medium body frame, they're not going to look right at 110 pounds. They're going to look pretty skinny. Their ideal body weight should be anywhere from 110 to maybe 130 or 125. It depends on the age, too. Last time I went to the doctor, I'm 42 years old. I'm only, he said, my ideal weight should be no more than, I want to say 160, 155. So I'm 165. I'm technically 10 pounds above that, um, which he said is healthy. Because when you do work out and I lift a lot of weights... You do gain muscle. You you do gain muscle. I know you're gonna say, "Oh, a woman can't gain muscle." This, that, and the other. Well, here's what happens: the muscle is heavier than the body fat. So when you lift a lot of weights, your body burns fat, and you have muscle remaining. Okay, so it is well known that you. When I say gain muscle, I don't mean for a woman to get bulky. I believe that it is possible for a woman to get to gain muscle mass, not as much as a man. And not only that, when she burns the fat. That extra muscle mass can contribute to a little bit of weight gain. Not, you, I mean, a little bit of weight gain, not too much. So, me and myself, in my journey in losing weight, I, ro I rotate between 160 and 165. I lost 63 pounds. And that is a lot of weight to lose. Okay? I took it upon myself to lose that weight. Now, I'm not going to get too much into my testimony, but... 
I'm going to address that video in a minute. But I just want to show you this chart real quick. Hopefully I can maximize it or something. Um, you see how it goes into the body frames? You see that? You have a muscular build. A lymphatic is a person that lymphatic and you have endocrine. Well, I'm just trying to show you, and I'm hoping I'm doing this right, the, the three body frames. I believe one of them is called a metamorph. Hope I'm explaining this right, you guys. Okay, body type. What is your body type? Okay, so three body types. This is where I was getting at. There are three body types. The mesomorph. Okay, these are three body types right here. The endomorph, which is very voluptuous, can be um, very voluptuous person. Okay, um, it's curvy. Okay. Then you have here a medium body frame, which is slightly curvy, but not as much. And then you have a petite. See? This one is um, petite. It's athletic and stuff like that. These two body frames right here can be athletic. Like this one, I have a friend of mine, and she's an endomorph. She's very voluptuous, but she goes to the gym. She's very muscular. Okay, so she's five foot four. She's about 170 pounds. She's a very muscular young lady. This um, is a medium body frame. This is a petite body frame. So when she told you about, not this young lady, this is the person that responded to her video. When she told you that there's no such thing as big bone, um, she's incorrect. I'm going to debunk her theory right now because um, humans have different bone structures. As you can tell, a man has is a larger body frame than a woman, has bigger bones than a woman. Um, there are men that are petite. There are men that are endomorph figures, like right here, body type. There are men that are um, mesomorph, which is like a medium body frame. And you have a small body frame. So you have a large me frame, a medium body frame, and a small body frame. The large, like I said, tends to be more voluptuous. This one is kind of like in between the large and the small body frame. Um... The three body frames, I'm going to try to explain it to you here. Um, an endomorph, I'll give you an example. Um, it's, like I said, it's it's a typically an, an individual that is, like I said, very voluptuous and curvy. Now, they will retain some fat on their body, but not too much. Like I said, I have a friend of mine that is this body frame, but she's very muscular. She has no fat on her body whatsoever. So, um, the endomorph, like I said, is a very voluptuous figure, okay? People say that they struggle to lose weight or have to pay much more attention to their weight when they exercise because they're genetically prone to more fat easily. That is incorrect. This is how God made the individual. They just have, usually they have a few fat uh, cells in the buttocks area, and um, that's about it. They don't have it on the stomach area. They will have it right around here. But again, if they work out a lot, this can actually tone up the fat. And the fat that they actually hold on their body is depending on their BMI, okay? So in this regard over here, um, an individual um, that is working out that retains fat here can actually lose that fat, and the fat will turn into muscle. Now, will the person lose their body frame? No. They will still have a large body frame, but it will be muscular, and it will always be muscular. So... um. If you are a mesomorph, which is in between, you can work out as much as you can, okay? And like I said, when you are, um, when you work out in this regard and you become muscle tone, you don't lose your body frame. Again, you're more muscular. Here's petite, same thing. You're more muscular if you strive for that when you lose, when you are working out. In any three of these body frames, you can have, um, if you don't take care of yourself, you will gain weight. I've seen a fat, uh, uh, I've seen a, a petite person with weight on them. 
Okay, you could tell that they're petite, but they are overweight. So usually the fat's concentrated here. And they have and they still have the skinny legs and stuff, but it's usually fat. The fat's concentrated here, obviously around the neck. For an individual with a mesomorph body frame, the fat's concentrated, um, I want to say here, on the legs, right here, and on the top. And then they always have a small waist. Same here. The fat's concentrated here, a little bit on the top. Okay, so... Um, with the endomorph, typically the bone frame is a heavier build with short limbs and large joints. You see? Big boned. Okay? And they usually have wide hips and shoulders. Very voluptuous. Okay? Um, they store fat easily, but it is possible by the blood of a lamb that you, you, can, you can improve on your metabolism. Okay? Um... These women are curvier, they're more voluptuous, okay, more voluptuous, more curvier, and again, when you are more muscular, you, re you retain that voluptuousness and that curviness. So, that's the endomorph. Now, um, the endomorph, um, my recommendation is to work out extra so you can lose more body fat. Tone up your muscle, like I said here, when you tone up your muscle... You can speed up your metabolism. Um, strength training, cardio, you can combine the both. You can do aerobic exercises. Okay. I'm going to jump over to my body frame, um, mesomorph. Usually the more active, dynamic, assertive. Uh, they have a powerful frame. It's medium build, medium joints, large bones with broad shoulders, wider hips, Slightly wider for women, like I have wide hips. Soft tissue, um, not overweight, but with a lot of dense muscle mass and lean, even without exercising, so they can still work out. Um, the metabolism is, uh, they gain fat, I'm sorry, they lose fat easily and they gain more muscle easily. Even on the endomorph, you gain more muscle. Um, these girls will never end up skinny because of the muscle mass. And uh, here, the mesomorphs, these individuals um, are petite. They look lean with uh, aerobic exercise. Let me go. Oh, let me, here we are. I wanted to get down to the petite frame. Thin limbs, small joints, light build, uh, not much muscle, tissue or body fat. Um, athletic, again, but um, like I said... It is possible for a petite person to have fat. I've seen individuals, usually a, fat, a petite person will have, a, um, I've seen individuals where they had a gut and it looked like they were three, four months pregnant. I'm just being real. Um, the metabolism is fast. It can be fast. And, and depending on your body frame and depending on you, and metabolism can be fast in any type of body frame. Okay. They have a hard time gaining muscle. And they're very low in muscular strength. So this is my body frame here. This is where I'm at. Okay, I have wide shoulders, wide hips, but I'm skinny any, everywhere else. Okay, so the reason why I was addressing the body frames is to debunk her theory that she says there's no such thing as big boning. That is a lie from the pit of hell for one part. Um, trying to get back to the video, I'm sorry. The other part she said about fat shaming, look, she could have handled this video more sensitively, okay, because there are people out there that are fat that have low self-esteem, and they need actual counseling because of that. So my thing is this, um, do fat people need to lose weight? Yes. Is it in their best interest to lose weight? Yes. Is it for their benefits? Yes. Because if you don't, you're putting your health at risk. Think about your body being the temple of God, okay? If you have a house and you live in that house, a.k.a. temple, you want to take care of it and upkeep it and make sure it's clean and it's spotless and it's updated with updated furniture, updated vessels, updated ornaments, right? Same thing for the human body. You want to take care of your body while you're on this earth. You want to make sure that your body is up to date, meaning don't get plastic surgery. I'm saying take care of yourself, personal hygiene, keep yourself... Um, looking respectable, 
modest. You don't have to wear fancy clothing, not much makeup. You know, dress the, the way the Bible says. Women wear women's clothing. Men wear men's clothing. Women look modest. Don't wear makeup. Don't, you know, paint your hair. Like, she's got her hair looking pink. Looks like somebody slapped her on the side of her head. I mean, look at that pink strip there. Look modest. Um, it looks like she got punched in the side of the face, too, because she's got, like, a bunch of makeup here and here. And it looks like somebody decked her here because she's got a pound of lipstick here. She looked like a skinny Tammy, Tammy Faye Baker, a, a, a reject, you know what I'm saying? She's got some nerve getting up on this video here, making fun of fat people when she's looking like that. She got some nerve. But that's besides the point. Um, you do need to lose weight if you are fat, if you are obese. You do need to lose weight. The body is a temple of God, okay? Take care of it. Eat right. Exercise. If you need extra help. Um, you can, you know, seek out all the friends, your other friends that might have lost weight. Most importantly, seek the counsel of Jesus Christ, but you can seek out all the friends that lost weight. You can seek out, um, if, if you have a trainer at your gym, that's also a, a nutritionist that can help you. If you, you know, sometimes your job has benefits where they offer resources for health and wellness. Um, giving, uh, nutritionists could be on staff or, uh, they can offer you a diet program or a program to, to work out at the gym, refer you to a trainer, anything. But let me tell you something, okay? This is directed to the obese folks that are righteous in the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not let what this reject says get to you. Don't care what people think. My thing is, is it a requirement that you take care of the body because it's the temple of God? Yes. Is it a requirement that you do lose weight for your safety, for your health, and, that's the and because it's the temple of God? Yes. Okay, you need help. You have any questions? Seek God's counsel first. Ask me, and I'll tell you what I did. But do yourselves a favor. Don't care what she says or what she thinks. Because first off, you know I could get into a few things about her. Like she looks like a tranny. I mean, what's up with the Adam's apple? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could get into details about it, but I'm not going to stoop that low. It is not cool. For a grown woman to come on here and bash fat people. I've been there. I know what it's like. And I'm only directing this at the fat righteous folks. I'm not talking about the wicked. The wicked righteous folks, you need to come to Jesus. And I'm going to leave it at that. But the righteous ones that are already strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know. You, you don't need to let anything what people say, what they think, get to you. Don't care what they think. Because she's going to be standing before God. And she's going to have to account for every word that she says, every deed she did before the Most High God. It is not cool making fun of fat people. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to approach a fat people, you approach a fat, a fat person in private. And with educational um, uh, intentions and with etiquette. Not some ghetto chick trying to look like she's from 42nd Street or something. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, don't care what people think. Don't care what they say. Jesus Christ loves you. He wishes for you to come to full repentance. Please know that taking care of the temple is a requirement from Jesus Christ. You have to take care of your body. You have to watch what you eat. Do not drink. Do not smoke. You have to watch your weight. Work out. If you need to work out and it's, it's too much for you, you could take your time. Go at your pace. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So I debunked her theory about there's no such thing as big bone. You saw me do that. And I debunked her theory also about um, fat discrimination. Because fat people do get discriminated against. I've seen it happen. I'm not saying to go out there and eat a bunch of cheeseburgers and gain you a whole lot of weight. I'm just saying I've seen it happen. I'm defending the righteous fat folks. I'm standing up for the body of Christ. Don't care what this heifer says. Don't care what she thinks. Don't care what people think. Excuse my expression. Only trust in Jesus Christ. He will guide you. If you need help, if you are struggling with your weight, reach out to me. I'll be happy to tell you what I did so it can help you. A testimony can help another person. Okay, I struggled with weight before. I know what it's like. So reach out to me and I'll be happy 
to help you in any way that I can.